Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. You can't see me though, right? No. I don't know why. I, I... <laughs> now I can't hear you. Yeah, uh, huh. I'm not sure why the camera's not working. Um, oh, hold on. Start video. Maybe that's why. Here we go. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Great. How are you? I'm pretty good. I I'm I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I was I figured uh I was I texted you earlier and I was like, I wonder if she's still gonna be going live. I'm not sure. <laughs> yes. Well we're not going live. It's just the two of us just to connect. I like your I like your your sweater. I'm dope. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's my daughter's uh clothing line. She um that's yeah. one of her first designs. Uh, okay. The, actually the classic. Uh, uh, I'm dope, sincerely yours. Uh, sweatshirt, hoodie, T-shirt uh, from her, her clothing line. Sincerely yours with the C. So she has a website, so I'm gonna write it down, and I'm surely gonna take a look at it. She does. Um, it's uh, oh lord, I'm, I'm gonna mess it up. Um, I'm gonna let me send it to you because um, yeah, look, I can't remember it. It's like I know it's on. She has it on two places. She has it on Teespring and she has it on uh, Redbubble. And I believe it's under Sincere Wear and Severe Gear. Because we both have a we both have the clothing la label. It's together. And uh, I just I just can't remember the website by heart. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> no, I no, it's not bad. I, I post it and I what it is is I, I post it all the time. I, I don't know if you know this, but I do a lot of music reviews like Anita Baker and stuff. I do like, you know, hip hop reviews and I do two podcasts. So while I do those, I advertise our apparel in the description. So you can you can link it. We, I have so many links. If you go on any of my social media platforms. I only I only, uh, I only have you on LinkedIn. Yeah. So you got like if you go on YouTube and you you, you, you can t you type my name and you'll find me. Uh, I have a YouTube I have two YouTube channels, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I have two podcasts and two YouTube channels, and I review music. And um, I promote my her clothing line and my clothing line all the time. Okay. Uh, the, the links are in the description. The links, I usually, sometimes I just, if you have me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, you see that I promote. I just don't remember the link in my head. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but <laughs> how you doing? I'm great. I'm great. It's a little bit warm today, so that's that's a nice thing because it's always cold here in uh, in the Netherlands. So um, wow. yeah, cool. yeah. How cold? Like what? What's the average temperature? Um, well, the last day it was uh, between the eighteen and twenty degrees. Today we have twenty two and twenty three degrees, so it's that's okay. Yes. What? Yes. So it's a little bit cold over here. Yeah. Oh. Can, can you tell me? Can you tell me more about yourself? What you're you already already explained what you're doing, but what is your cast spot about? Because you invited me for the cast spot. Um, cat. What is it? Podcast. Sorry. Podcast. And yes, and uh, it was about uh, what did you say? Uh, residual income. That's that's a totally different thing than that you already explained just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Um. The podcast. I, I like. Well. Like I said, I had two podcasts. One's musicals. It's, uh, you know, I break down a lot of albums. I listen to a lot of music. And uh, you can, you're always welcome to join that podcast because it's about music. If you like a certain album, a certain artist, you're welcome to join the music platform. But I have another one called The Passive Podcast. Now, The Passive Podcast is a, a it's like, you know, you know, passive income. You know, when people, people say, um, when they sleep, they make money, uh, you know, from stocks or, or real estate and things of that nature. Um, I'm, and there's, there's so many other uh, ways to develop passive income mm -hmm. uh, nowadays that mm -hmm. um, I want to share that. So I've been sharing, you know, information like that. And I've just been sharing and talking about just regular topics that's going on in the world. Uh, it could be Haiti, earthquakes. It could be, you know, New Orleans. It could be. Uh, you know, it could be anything that's going on and we have discussions. It could be sports. It could be um, it's funny because we, we this is our first we, we had we, we've done like at least 45, 46 episodes. And we're, it's three guys uh, now and we haven't done sports until we're going to do sports tomorrow. It's funny because we've never done. We always do political or really serious uh, topics 
I think the last topic we did was uh, abuse versus um, abuse versus uh, 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 punishment or, or some type of punishment for kids and uh, people in general. Uh, mm-hmm. So we uh, we had a panel. We had people come in. So like I would have you come in and uh, and and voice your opinion as a woman and as a person from the Netherlands and give us a different uh, aspect on what's going on with any topic uh, and what you how do you feel on any topic that we're discussing. And then if you have a topic you want to discuss, um, you're welcome to come on the podcast and we we will research and do our own research so we can be up on the po- up on the subject that you have. Or if you just have, if you're just an interesting person and you want to advertise a book, you want to advertise a record that just came out, you want to advertise just yourself, you want to advertise you doing a podcast or you doing whatever you're doing. You come on the podcast and you and you and you promote and you talk about yourself and you have fun with us. And uh, and then I share all your information in the description. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, hopefully they, you know, they cash app you. Hopefully they give you money. Hopefully they buy your book. Hopefully they 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 support you as well. If you, you know, you do great on the interview or whatever or the questions or whatever we do. We just have fun sometimes. So um, it's it's, it's uh, most important what you are sharing when I'm when I'm listening. Um, good. Uh, it's it's more the um, mouth mouth promotion that you have. That, and that is the thing that I am doing also because I'm doing network marketing beside the work that I, I just work part-time for the government for the COVID team, COVID-19. COVID will be dead sometime or it will be not here anymore. Yeah. And uh, I'm doing network marketing now for almost three years. And the company that, that we are, that I am in, just only exists now for three years. So I was um, from the start almost from the start there and right now we have a training so one of my um, mentors are doing the training now Mm -hmm. and skipping the training don't tell him (laughs) (laughs) so um, I don't know if you have heard of the the company success factory we didn't launch yet in in America yeah North America we already launched now but but not um, the rest of America we are doing digital products like cryptocurrency, Forex Insiders, and I don't know if you know Bank. Bank, bank is the oldest industry that we are in, and that is education. You just, um, sometimes you don't know how to, to communicate with someone from work or with your, with your parents or your kids or whatever, your friends. And mm-hmm. When you use that, you apply that, you can connect better. Some people are really the nurturing part. And uh, I think you are an action part, just like do it, do it, do it. Go now, now, now. Mm -hmm. And uh, knowledge people who want to know everything and want to search for everything. It's a really, really great product that we have. And the latest, that is the few that we just launched, I think six months ago. And you know virtual rea- uh, reality? Just put on your virtual reality. Just oh, the Oculus. Reality. Yes. 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 So yes. You put on the goggle and then you can uh, see a lot of things or mm-hmm. do a lot of things, but it's all animated. Yep. What we are doing now, we are launching the platform and they are filming now in Amsterdam in another company, <coughs> part of other countries. Um, just say when I am in Kickford and I'm going to tell Marcus, you know what it is? What are you doing today? Um, nothing. Put on your goggle, go to the port, and then we're going to fish together. So you are in your house fishing with me and see the same thing that I see. That is what we're going to launch now. So and I, I can go on and on about this, this whole company because what mm-hmm. the, the founders want to do is they want to bring uh, rich and poor they want to make it equal because let me turn off the camera here. Um, what they want to do, because one of the founders just traveled a lot with his family mm-hmm. and he saw a lot of poor countries. They didn't have a bank system or they haven't um, a lot of things that you and I have. So they want they want to bring rich and poor together so make it equal. And especially for the next generation. And that is why I started. I have two kids, 20 and 15, and I can see now that a lot of people are in financial problems, especially now with the COVID thing. How can you build your passive income for now 
build on your pension and build also for the next generation. So um, you invited me for the podcast. That is what I will talk about. But I would like you to have a look at it to, to see um, how it can fit in for you. Of course, like, you know, prior to you uh, even being on, you know, the, the broadcast and podcast, um, yeah, I would I would review uh, your, your, your whole work plan or whatever you guys are going about doing. It sounds great. Um, um, I'm not really into the Bitcoin. I want to learn more about the, the coin thing. Um, uh, I, I, I been, I've been into other things like REITs, um, you know, uh, that's basically online property. I'm into actual owning property. I just bought a house. I'm about to buy another one. Um, so like I'm into, you know, you know, money I can, you know, grab like now. And, and, it, and this is something I'm familiar with and what, and what I'm comfortable with, but my audience would love to know more about what you do and um, what you, your company's about. And I think it can help others. And that's why, and I, that's why I reach out to people that I think can help my, 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 my audience and people mm-hmm. that of my, my caliber. So yeah, I would love for you to be on and um, <clears throat> explain everything. And we can, you know, I, like, and like I said, prior to you being on, I would uh, research uh, yourself, you know, get to know you, um, learn about your bio, uh, what's going on, what makes you tick, you know, and stuff like that. And, uh, and, and more about your company. And then, you know, yeah, I have you on and I'll explain to my guys, Hey, uh, is how you say your name? Saki? <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> Saskia. 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 Yes. <laughs> so I got a, I got a, I got a, a stepsister named S- S- uh, Saki. Um, <laughs> I call her, a, we call her, her name's Saki. But mm-hmm. so I was looking at your name. I'm like, maybe it's similar to Saki. <clears throat> um, that's why I was saying that. So yeah, no, it's it's a really Dutch name. I don't know why my parents chose for that because <laughs> my grandparents are from Indonesia and they uh, went to Suriname. So my parents thought, well, you know what, we can have a better life in the Netherlands. So they were here for a few years. Now they live in Suriname, and I was like, what am I doing here in the Netherlands? <laughs> because this is not my country. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great that you're there. Like, I always love uh, how other ethnicities are and that live in other countries. Like, hmm. I wouldn't mind. Like, when I once I develop a lot of passive income and I don't actually have to work, um, yeah, I plan on traveling or plan on living uh, not in America. Uh, I don't know where, mm-hmm. but uh, I want to. I want to live somewhere else. Maybe learn a language, and and that's where I would retire and. and develop the passive income the, the income could yeah. be coming in from america from you know property or whatever i can always hire a property manager somebody like myself that can fix stuff um i already can have plumbers and <clears throat> certain uh companies on uh 24-hour notice for these properties so there's things you can do but my dream is to i'm getting i want to get out of here i want to get out of america i mentioned i'm not sure where but uh at least travel um mm-hmm. i was traveling a lot before the pandemic I, I was supposed to go to Africa uh, oh, last wow. year. It didn't yeah. happen. I was so pissed. Um, but, um, you know, it's still on the list. So I, I, I want to get out there and explore and uh, learn about different cultures and, and see where I want to settle. You know, people settle in the hot climates like Florida and California and America. I don't want to settle when I get older there. I want to settle somewhere in another country, like like something like the Netherlands. Maybe I might like the Netherlands. Maybe I like, like the, I don't like the whole, but... <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? Maybe I might like it. I might like the scenery and architecture. Then I might go, you know what? I'm in love with the Netherlands. I'm moving here, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know, you know? Um, <clears throat> so that's that's where I'm at right now. I just want to teach and learn. I do a lot of, I do all this for free. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just it just makes me feel good at the end of the day to help people that lack the knowledge because I lack the knowledge. And when I got the knowledge at an older age, I was so excited. I shared it. And that's why I developed these podcasts. And that's why, you know, I've been um, helping people on the side for free uh, mm-hmm. on anything, anything, their goals, you know, um, telling them to go get financial advisors, whatever they need at that point <clears throat> in their life. They're in debt. You know, I'm getting, I try to get them out of debt. I try to help them. Uh, yeah. And it's just, it's, I do it for free. Uh, I, you know, it's just because no one did it for me and I want to do it for others. What, what that, we have the same thing because uh, I have been in a lot of deaths when I was with the father of my children. 
And I took myself out of it. So I'm really proud of that. Then I started my own business and Corona just killed it because I'm a masseuse and I went to people's houses. <laughs> Congratulations. And, yeah, <laughs> thank you. So um, then I was reading Rich Dad Poor Dad from Great. Robert Kiyosaki and that was mind blowing. And the, um, the partner that I had at that moment, I told him, listen, babe, we have to share it with the whole world. And he was like, yeah, good luck with it. So that's still a mission for, for me, and that especially the next generation, because at school, they don't teach the, the children. They teach the children how you can earn money, not how you can make money. And that's a different in, in that thing. So we, the, the, the children right. have to learn that. Yeah. Correct. And uh, yeah, they teach you that you, you, know, you, you know, learn this trade, go to work. Um, and that's why I think, you know, uh, parents to start youngest age, I don't care if the kids too, the kids ready to learn something, um, teach them. And like when I, when I was, uh, when my daughter was a baby, uh, mm -hmm. she's 22 now, no, 22 now. Oh Lord. And, um, <clears throat> she, she, uh, I used to talk to her like a regular human being. I never did baby talk and I never welcomed baby talk around my mm -hmm. daughter. I would say, Hey, talk to her. She's human. Yeah. Um, like, you know, and if you got another language, talk to her in your language. I was I was like that because I, I knew uh, her brain is developing and then all the information she's achieving right now absorbing absorb absorbing um, is, is 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 precious. So um, teach your kids at baby age. As soon as they come out the womb, start talking to them about money, uh, math, uh, yeah. science, <laughs> history. No, I'm serious. I, yeah. I talk to them in the womb, and and <clears throat> it's never too early. And uh, that's where I'm at, man. Okay. Okay, that's great. Great. I like your energy. Appreciate it. I mean, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people do. I don't know what it is. I, I'm, just, I'm, a, I'm an optimistic person. I've, I've been like, I was on the other side, been on the other side. I've been on the crime side. I've been on the bad side. I've been on the bad boy side. I've done anything you could think of, you know, the corny story of the young black kid in the projects. I've been there, done that. Um, I'm smart enough to, um, no, that's not for me. And then, uh, so I turned my life yeah. around, developed a family, developed passive income, developed, I'm just developing things now. It's never too late to start mm -hmm. something. Um, mm -hmm. and, that's what, and that's where I'm at. And I want people to learn that. It's never too late to buy a house. It's never too late to whatever. My, my, I'll give you an example. My mother, she, to this day, she's never bought a house for herself. And um, me and my, <clears throat> and my sister was going to buy a house, but it's another story. But anyway, um, she always, she, 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 she still to this day, she goes, Oh, I could have bought a house. I could have bought a house. She's still alive. She goes, I could have bought a house. Mm -hmm. And I say, mom, you can still buy a house. You're yeah. still breathing. You know what I mean? So, um, and she goes, well, yeah, I should have bought a house. And it's a long story. My sister's not, I ain't going to get involved, you know, tell the story, but whatever. Um, so I ended up buying, you know, you know, instead of buying her property at the time, I started buying my property. Um, and then eventually I'll probably buy her property, but I think like for people that say, I could have, uh, I, you're still breathing. Go do it. Yeah. yeah you can go, exactly. my mother can go, my mother can go buy a house right now. Yeah. If she, if she got the money in the income, if she's, if she's doing right, if she, if she, if she designed her money right and she's save, saving and investing and doing, you know what I mean? She got a, a portfolio, right? But if she don't, guess what? You're not getting a house. Exactly. You, know what I'm saying? you know, so. You can do whatever you want now. If you're 90 years old, you can still go back to school. There's 90 year olds that yeah. go back to school and get a degree. Like, so do it. Just do it. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't get people and uh and my energy needs to be around that circle. And I need energy. I got I got a lot of people around me that, you know, in my circle that's I'm trying to cut or I'm about to cut because they then they're just giving me Negative. no energy. Negativity. They got no <laughs> no drive, no will, yes, nothing. And uh I don't care if it's my mom's, pops, <clears throat> daughter. Yeah. If they're giving me bad energy, I cut them off for a while and tell them I can't rock with them for a while until I, until I, you know, I feel like until I, until I can, until I have enough positive energy that I can absorb the little negative energy for that time being. Because I just, I just, I just can't. The energy, people's energy, really. Yeah, uh, really, I, that's really, that's really important. Energy of other people. You. If you are are with with people who are just. Uh, dragging people down and uh, it, it's so easy to get into that and it's really important to say to yourself listen babe 
that's not what I'm going to do, or don't call me anymore, or for a while, or I'm going to take distance, or whatever. I have been um, been in that part of my life uh, for a long time. So, um, um, uh, everything starts with making the decision in life. Doesn't of matter course. how what, what your what your age is or in what kind of situation you are. So, of course. And that's that's what and that's the only thing that's the reason I reached out to you because I, I you know I, I you know I, when I first look at people you know and I like research them a little bit whatever whatever I can can and and I see that I, for some reason I, I I usually I'm usually a good judge of character and I and I said to myself man she seems like a good person man mm -hmm. um, maybe she has something to share to the world or to my to my world and um and and then we can, we can I can build a stronger circle and you could be part of my circle. And um, you know, maybe my 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 connect from the Netherlands, you know, like they'd be like, you gotta connect from the Netherlands up. I'm like, yep, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so like, like, you gotta have that. Um, you know, maybe 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 you want to get into something and I know some actors, maybe I know some singers, some whatever, whatever you wanna do. Maybe I I I, I have that connection. Maybe you have that connection. Um, in, in 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 how many times you wanna have reach your goals? Say that again. And how many years do you want to reach your goals? I I, I try not to. I try. I, it's funny because I when I I do tell people, I ask people questions like that when I'm helping them, but I don't live that way. I don't live with like in five years I'm going to be this, ten years I'm going to be this. Um, because when you start doing that, you put more pressure on yourself. So what I do is, I just do it. I just kind of like, I just like hold myself accountable. Or I tell somebody like uh, uh, I could tell, you know, somebody important to me and say, hey, hold me accountable. I'm, yeah. I'm going to buy, you know, like I said, I'm going to buy another house in another probably in a couple months, maybe like six months or so. Right. Um, everybody knows I'm saying I say it all the time. I say it on live broadcast, other people's podcast. So it holds me accountable. So once so when that six months comes or whatever down the line and I don't and people are like, yo, where's your house? I'm like, oh, yes. yeah. You know, so, <laughs> Uh, no, I'm gonna. So it, it it gives me that. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it or whatever, you know. But, but I'm going to do it, you know. So mm -hmm. um, I, I just do that. Um, I, I putting putting timelines is good, but I think if you just accomplish it and everybody's speed is different, uh, everybody's learning process is different. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, just like just like plants, every plant is growing on his own way, his, his own time, and that is the same thing exactly, with people. Exactly, exactly. And and it could be the same plant. Exactly. Exactly. You take, you take you know a, a a clone from there and there, put it together, let it grow. This one might grow taller. I don't know. Um, you know more flowers or something. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's originality, and everybody learns different, different speeds. Great, 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 great. Let me. I can't. I can't introduce it to him, but I'm gonna show him because they are doing the um, the training right now. Can you see this guy? I do see him. So that is my mentor in Success Factory, and he is from Iran. And just in seven months, he built a team of 30,000 people in seven months. And now uh, we are two years further. Yeah, now the team is, um, he has 300,000 members in it. So what he did, he just, um, how do you say it? He cut everything, everybody off, and he was working in private and when he got the results he, he just blew it up but hey guys listen this is what i did uh he came here to the netherlands as a as a refugee Refi is that the right uh, word refugee when you are coming from another oh, refugee. country yes refugee yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he was nine years old didn't speak the language over here didn't know anybody he had to build himself up then he came into network marketing. He did a lot of mistakes, lost a lot of money, and now he's just a rising star over there. That's why I asked you, in what kind of time would you have to, or do you want to achieve your goals? Because I know with, with this guy, I'm in the, the right place with the right company and the right whatever, but he has to share his own story. I really love this guy because he did a lot for me. You, and he's still doing a lot for me because I'm learning a lot from him. So um, if you want to talk, you you just mentioned with the right uh, people in your right circle. Um, I guess this would be a right uh, a good thing for you. So you can live in the uh, Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know what's uh, what's funny? I I uh, I'm listening to you, but um, 
to be honest, I'm not interested in that dude. I'm interested in, in you as a character, as a person. Um, I think you have a, a, a good soul, a good heart. And um, I don't know him and I don't want to get to know him. I, I, just, just, just by seeing his, 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 his character's face and the way he, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I, I don't think me and him would uh, connect. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I just don't think so. But um, yeah, like, like, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm not into, and it's to me, you know, I don't want to um, disrespect your company or that company. It sounds like a pyramid scheme. I'm not into those. Mm -hmm. um, and I, and I shy people away from those on my channel uh, because uh, if they were, if they actually worked, uh, they, you know, everyone would be rich. Um, and that's not the case. Uh, but, but, you know, um, anything else you do and anything else you want to share, you want to come on and talk about yourself and your kids or whoever, or you just want to have an opinion on the subject, um, you're welcome to, you know, come on if you have time. But uh, I'm not into I'm not into any of that um, stuff. I'm into making money my way yeah. and yeah. Uh, the way I know uh, actually makes me money. And it worked in the past and it's still working uh, currently mm -hmm. and it's going to work in the future. I know about the stock market. I follow the stock market. I invest in the stock market. I mm -hmm. do it well. I do it very well. And then and then, you know, I got the reach. Like I said, that's the online property and I got the re real estate and I got clothing online. And I'm doing things, uh, you know, on my handyman. I do facilities, <laughs> and, I, and I and I can fix your whole house if I had to. Um, so I do things on the side like that, and when I want to, mm -hmm. I, then I do pest control. I got a license in pest control. Um, what is, so what is that? Pest control, meaning like killing mice and rats and insects and. Oh really? Yeah, that's so I can I can do that for money. Um, there's a lot of things I can do, uh, if I wanted to. Um, but that 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 just sounds like a wasted um, uh, thing, thing. Just wasted space in my head. I would never um, tackle anything of that that nature. Just the way you were describing it, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you, I appreciate it. That's it's okay. It's okay. It's not always for everybody. So um, some people oh, has a lot of luck with it, and a lot of people are struggling with it. I'm not a seller. I don't think, I think if you have a good product, it sells itself. Um, so that when I work on my clothing line and my artist designs, I try to come up with the best things and hopefully they sell themselves. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't really sell stuff. I promote once in a while. I'm pretty bad at it. But once yeah. when I, when I do promote something well and something that looks good like this, mm -hmm. uh, people love it and they buy it. I mean, I, I don't, I don't go around selling it, trying to promote it every day and going crazy. I just mm -hmm. wait, I, you know, it, it's certain, you know, I, I just think this times to do so yeah. like i don't i don't push it on people i don't push anything no. on anybody when people yeah. push stuff on me i get it's, uh it's, i get defensive like a yeah. rat in the corner speaking of pest control and um uh, and then you, you don't want to you want you want to like me when i'm angry just put it that way i'm a really nice guy but if i know something's not right and it's not doesn't fit my character um i, I i'll dismiss you very nicely mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but yeah i think i would dismiss him very nicely i don't think me and him will get along i don't think that company's for me I don't think what you do is for me, but I mm -hmm. think you're a good person and I hopefully he's not taking advantage of you. So uh, I'm, I'm doing this part time. My uh, my heart is really with helping people. That That's what I'm doing as a masseuse. That's what I'm doing now with, with, uh, with the Kofi team, helping other people. So uh, that's exactly. um, that that's my thing. And I know that um, I have been hurt a lot of times with helping other people that they are taking advantage of me. But I still think everybody has a good side somewhere in her heart or his heart. So I hope I can touch that little part and bring something to the, to his life. A little bit magic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely correct. I think everybody has a yin and a yang. I just learned that word and what it really meant. Um, I thought it meant good and bad, but it doesn't. Um, <clears throat> any, anyway, but any, everybody has a, a good side and a bad side. Yeah. And um, But how much good do they really have uh, how, how much self-motivation do they have are they selfish um like are they just here for money and that's it do they care um were they hurt in the past and they just don't care on stomping on people and they just want to get to the mountaintop um yep. you know it, 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 it's i can tell i can like I, I can feel people's aura i don't know what it is but for all my life i always felt um negative and positive energy when i meet people mm -hmm. and um and, you know, I got 
and, and, and some people <laughs> I can't really get rid of. I got parents that uh, uh, sometimes I don't like. I got, you know, kids that sometimes I don't like. I got, you know, family, whoever, friends. Yeah. But um, I'm going to continue to love them and be with them because uh, they, you know, I started with them. But this times that I got to take breaks um, from people because I want to be happy. I like to be happy. I strive to be happy every day. Um, not every minute, of course, no one can, but why not? If I, why not try to be happy every minute? I, I try. Um, it doesn't work, but yeah, I'm, I, I try, I try a lot. And, um, and then, you know, being around miserable people and just, just, in, just insane schemes, uh, they, you know, I can't, I get anxiety, high anxiety. And then I, I might, if I don't leave, um, it will be bad for the other person because I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm real good at, uh, verbally assassinating somebody if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, you know, I, but I don't, I usually don't do that. I'm, I'm a nice person. I, I just say, oh, okay. And leave or something. But, <laughs> uh, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> See you later, brother. brother. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I, like I said, I, I, I still, like you said, you're doing all this other stuff that, um, I commend you know, you're, you're dealing with the COVID situation. Yeah. So you're doing the masseuse thing. You're doing things. You're helping people. You have a good heart. I could tell. I told you, like just like by kind of like talking to you and chatting with you and seeing you, not mm -hmm. even talking to you. I said something. Something about that. Little something about her. I, 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 I that kind of I craved and then and that's why we're doing this, right? Um, and trying to get to know each other more. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah, that's that's me. That's me. I, I you know, like I said, I study music. I, I listen to music. I do reviews. I like to help people on podcasts. I like to help people in general, on, you know, and on finance and on mm -hmm. anything they need. Um, if I can direct them to the right person, um, mm -hmm. like say if you was a real estate agent and then someone needed a real estate agent, I'm going to direct them to you. Um, I want to be the, the plug, the center person, yes. the, you know, yeah. somebody that, that help, the, yeah, the good connect. plug, not the drug, not the drug plug, but the plug that can help people yeah. better their lives and yeah. be happy. So that's me and um yeah that situation with that guy i don't know that you, you're introducing it's it just huh. not me but uh mm -hmm. you seem cool <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you thank you so uh and it's um for me it's always important to just connect first with with the person to know who i'm um, i'm dealing with and especially the energy because a lot of people has Especially that when when I started with um, with this business, mm -hmm. I have been in contact with a lot of fake people. Of uh, course, of course. It's, I it's, tried. You know, it's funny. I tried the. This I had a friend. Um, thought she was a friend, but she 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 she. I was a natural. Just let's put it this way. I was helping her do because she's directing and producing. I was helping her. Um, you know, uh, just just read roles. That's all I was doing, and then I ended up being supposedly a natural born actor, right? So she, I start getting gigs. She gives me a gig for her movie. I start getting other gigs from um, other people's movies because I, you know, they seen my clip, and um, so Hollywood. Even though, even when you start with the with the local people, is a stressful um, situation, a stressful place even if it's local or independent. Uh, and I don't know if it's stressful for actors. Like for me, it was fun. Uh, but for directors and producers, it seemed like they're high strung. And then when they speak with actors, uh, such as myself, because I really believe I am a good actor, um, I have proof of it. And um, I didn't like the, 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 the persona. I didn't like the way they talked to me, talked down to me, or tried to rush me in certain things. So... I stopped doing it because it, it didn't make me happy anymore. Um, mm -hmm. When it, it was making me happy, then I stopped. Like if I, if I get another acting role and the producer and director's great, I do it. But mm -hmm. like, I, I can't be in a, 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 an aura that's, that's negative. You can't command things to me. You can't yell at me. Um, you can't do anything that's going to put me in a uh, bad mood when I'm trying to help you out. And we're trying to help each other out. Mm. Um, so like, i just give you an example of like, I can shut down money if I want to. I can that was opportunity. I could have got credits for movies, been in movies. I could have had checks coming in for years, but it wasn't gonna make me happy because the, the producer and director was an asshole. Excuse my language. <laughs> um, and uh, and I was like, forget, forget movie money right now. I'm gonna still do whatever I want. And I wasn't even planning to be an actor. 
So it was mm -hmm. like a, just a bonus for me. Um, but that's the stuff I'm talking about. So I like to be around people um, that have uh, things to share, things to um, give to the world or, or, or share with the world or help with the world. And then, uh, and those things naturally happen. I think I like when things naturally happen. Like yeah. going back to the five minute, five hour, you some of the time thing goals. I like things that happen naturally if they could. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, sometimes you do got to put a time stamp on stuff uh, just to get things done. I get it. Yeah, sure. If, 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 if I'm not doing that here at home with my children, then nothing will be done here in the house. How are your children? They stay teenagers. I'm pretty sure they keep you company. 20, no. No, no, they're not home now, at home now. Uh, my, my boy is 20 years old. He is with his girlfriend. And oh. my daughter is 15 years old. And she's, uh, she's with her father. She, um, she's over there. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, you get to see them often or they just they call you a lot. Are, are they mama's kids? They like the mama or what? My, my girl is, is really, that's my girl. And my boy just, yeah, he can do his own thing. So uh, he's really <laughs> he? responsible. Yeah. Okay. I gotta say, was he, was he ever a mama's boy? Never. No? Not no, ne never. No. Still till, 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 till today, no. The last, I think, Last week we had a we had a talk, my my son and, and me, and he told me like, you know, it was really hard to to grow up with uh, with you, because you were um, yeah, well, you were you were how do you say it, you know what you want from us, and sometimes it was not okay. <laughs> but demanding, they call it demanding. Like you, yeah. you probably wanted a lot for your children because, and this is a lot of parents do, they want a lot, they want more for their children because um, they had less or. Uh, they know at that at age when they were that age they had this so they want more for that child at that age no, so no. if you was 18 would that's not how you feel no 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 i then why, because why my, you, why my, you my, like my parents were were exactly like that what you explained to, to me and i was like i want that i want my children to make their own choices that is what i want but what i really want is that i know how to clean and know how to cook and know how to to um watch for each other and be there for each other so really a whole different things that i wanted for my children um my son um he finished the, the he had his first diploma and he was like okay you still have to go to school because you are um how old was he 16 and what are you going to do well he chose to be um i don't know the name in in english but you have to draw houses and all those kind of things so An architect. yes so he did that for a year and he told me it's not for me okay that's okay what do you want to do if you're going to leave that school then you have to do everything for yourself. You have to find your own school, do your uh, research, blah -de -da, blah -de -da, just share it with me and I will go with you and I, I will make a decision if which school would be better for you. So he did that and then he wants to be a nurse. <laughs> he did that for a year. <laughs> he told me, well, it's not for me. It's like, listen, what is it that you want to do? Well, because you still have to go to school. You're not 18 yet. I was like, I don't know. And he's really an artist. He can draw and all those kind of things. Maybe that is something for you. Yeah. Well, he was like, no, I don't want to do that. And I think two weeks later, he told me I signed myself up for that school. I was like, okay. <laughs> he did it okay. now for two years. And now he told me, mom, it's not for me. What do you <laughs> want to do? <laughs> so normally parents would tell them, no, you have to finish that because you need the diploma. So blah, 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 blah. I told him, I want you to be happy because I learned now you have a lot of people who don't have degrees, don't have diplomas. They are multimillionaires. So if you are happy and you are 100 percent, what do you do? What you are doing? You love to do it. Mm -hmm. Then I'm happy. That's and that's with my daughter. It's a little bit different because she's a girl. <laughs> Oh no! Are you think this what's going on here? No, no, no. He is, He can can move freely, and she can choose her own school and those kind of things. But when she goes out, I want to know who with who. Who are the people you're with? Where are you going? Because she's a girl. <laughs> I don't okay. know what what will happen in the world, but I want to know. So um, 
I want to meet her girlfriends or her boyfriends or those kind of things. It's a crazy world right now. And he yeah, can. Yeah, it, is, it is nuts. I, I think yeah, that's just that's just in anyone's blood to 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 worry more about women and uh, only because. And you know the past tells us that women are more vulnerable to situations. Yeah. Not saying they're not strong, but they usually, you know, maybe y'all might be caught up thinking about something else on your phone while then the kidnapper grabs you or something. Like men are always looking around; like, they don't care. They, you know, <laughs> exactly. this stupid. You're like, oh no, no, right? Um, our attention spans are, you know, uh, smaller, right? So we probably might more be in tune. And then there's not a lot of guys or women kidnapping, you know, guys. So. So, you know, like, you know, let's say boy, little boys or something, you know, that's a different story, you know, different, different topic. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I get it. I worry about, I got a daughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a, I got a stepdaughter, a, a real, a, a daughter. Um, I have uh, two godsons. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, one's my best friend's son. One's my cousin's son. So I, I, you know, I like, so like in my mind, I have sons, you know, I can go get a, a, a yeah. boy anytime I want. So I don't need to go <laughs> have a kid. Right. So I'm like, yeah, one's enough for me, really, right? Uh, but yeah, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy, I just enjoy life, man. I'm just, and I just, I'm just trying to help others around me to enjoy life, like to be happy and to, yeah, don't waste your time on things that aren't necessary. Like a lot of people just either they're lazy, they procrastinate, or they they just used to doing something that their parents taught them, and it's not right yeah. for, for them, and it's not right for the next generation or their next generation. They, they're, ne- they're never going to be able to, you know, develop generational wealth with uh, that mindset. So, um, yeah, that's why I don't deal with a lot of people that, uh, you know, think backwards or don't uh, have a, a, a mind to, to change or to develop passive income, man. You, you, you got to do something. You got to do something. You got to yep. change the dynamic of your family. Yep. 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 So, yeah, yeah, yeah. for your son and your daughter, I get it. And I, I, yo, I, I like your, I, I don't know you son, but I like your son. I like the way he thinks. He, he, he. Uh, we need more people like that, um, because he knows what makes him happy. He, tr- he's trying things, so he, he's getting richer yeah. in life. You might yeah. not think he's, he's learning a lot of stuff. He learned yeah. architecture. I have an architecture engineering degree. Am I using it? No, I use my mm-hmm. facilities management degree. That's what I'm using. I got two degrees, mm-hmm. but um, you know, a first degree. Didn't stick. I said I don't, I don't want to do this. I went and did something else. Um. So I so I get what he's saying. Uh, you got to be happy. And I like the way I'm get. I'm like the way you're giving him that freedom. Uh, just give your daughter a little bit more freedom as well. I think uh, she she sees that and she's probably gonna be uh she might be discouraged a little more mad at you um without you knowing subconsciously if you don't give her that freedom as well. Um, but you can check up on her millions of times. That's just she, she, uh, she asked me, <laughs> it's funny that you are uh, mentioning it now, because uh, a, few, a few days ago, she asked me, why can Daniel can do everything and I'm not? So I, I explained her the same thing. And she was like, you know what, mom, there's an app. You can follow me. <laughs> can you just install it so you know where I am? It's like, okay, that's that's fine. We can do that. We can do that. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. See, at least she's, um, you know, wise enough to, to compromise with you. Yes. So she could be happy because she wants your anxiety to go down. Right. So she's like, I got to I got to figure something out. Get my mom's <laughs> off my back. So she, with this app, you guys can both be happy. And y'all both can be relaxed and then go do things that you want to do and be happy. Yes. yes, exactly. So I'm I'm OK with that. I'm OK with that. So it's a That's good, good thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I enjoyed this conversation. Um, so they, like, like I, I can't stay too long. I got things. I'm working around the house. I'm working on yes. the house right now, and then I gotta, you know, take off and do a couple things. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, keep in contact. We can keep texting. Uh, we can keep. We can do more video chats if you want to. Like I said, uh, you can come join the podcast. Uh, whenever you want. Sometimes I like if, just to get guests on, if I, if I have to do a time like this, uh, I develop a podcast around this time so you can link on and we can have that conversation. And sometimes I won't be joined with my co-hosts because they, you know, they're not um, scheduled for this time. So like, say we have to do this time to sit down and talk. Uh, we can do this time on Saturday or whenever and, and do my podcast if you want. Um mm-hmm. But, you know, it's either going to be with me or maybe one or two other uh, people just 
talking to you and having fun and talking about whatever subject it is. It could be about finances. It could be about kids learning, you know, whatever. It could be anything, you know? You can always learn from each other. Exactly. You can learn from anybody. Yeah. True. You know? Absolutely. So um, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for your energy. So uh, we'll keep in touch. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, of course. Bye. <laughs> How do you pronounce your name? Uh, How do you pronounce your name? Marcus? Uh, Marky, M-A-R-Q-U-I-S, Marky Walker. So oh, if you look Marcus. me up on YouTube, yeah, look me up on YouTube, Marky Walker. Look me up on any uh, other social media platforms. Link me in. Let's get in. Let's get calm. If you have any social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Twitter, or, or YouTube, uh, log on, subscribe, and do all that stuff. Tap into me, and we can uh, have more conversations like this and share information. We'll do that. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Bye.